grand rising grand rising powerful beings today i'm going to be talking about change and transformation on a new moon day it's the new moon and what they say called what new moon in scorpio and you know we out here with it guess what every lunar cycle there's shifts that happen Right, and those shifts causes certain changes in our body and our minds and what we want to do. So this is a good time for you to just say, hey, listen, I've been trying to make this change and transform for a while. You're going to make it happen. So change and transformation is today's subject. Listen, if you're really trying to change and you're trying to get to the next level, I'm going to be talking about certain things that you can just start doing to build up momentum. Momentum is very beneficial. Just having like momentum. Like it's the law of inertia. We know the laws of the universe. And something says when the ball gets going, you're going to get growing. So basically, you have to figure out a way to just get yourself to get a certain momentum. So keep tapping in with me here in the episode of Ed Talks Daily. Let's go. Come on. Okay, so transformation means you're transforming, you're changing forms. First, before you can change forms, you got to know what form you're taking. There's a disassociation between who you are and the form you're taking. That's when you can really transform. The moment you identify with your situation, it's going to be very differently to do that. Man, you just went plant-based. That's what's up, bro. We're going to talk about that. So transformation starts with saying, man, what form do I want to take? What form do I want to take in this world? Like, And you can say, hey, I want to be highly energetic. I want to be empowering. I want to live a meaningful life. Or you can say, yo, the form I want to take is pissed off, frustrated, and angry. And you either choose what form you're going to take subconsciously or consciously. Making a decision to change is saying, I'm going to take a form that I want to be. It's like instead of the metaverse, you taking an avatar, put it on your face. You're going to take you're going to create the person you want, literally, by saying this is how this is the type of person I want to be. So transformation is about transforming the transcendence of forms. So now what form have you been taking? What is what am I saying? I am letting you, I am not letting you off the hook. I'm allowing you a space to see that you are not what you've been doing. You've just been accustomed to what you're doing. It's a sort of habits. So you have to say, hey, this is the form I've been taking. I want to take a different form. So now you have to, and that's when you start to transcend the reality of what you think is reality. So your current reality is the, it's on the basis of what you, what you've been thinking what you've been associating, what you've been believing about your life and what's available for you. So it's not necessarily what's in front of you. It's really your perception of it that's creating your reality and what it means to you. That's create that's your reality. The moment you realize that, yo, this has been meaning this to me. Oh, OK, let me give you an example. You might be in a current situation. You like, yo, my life is really, really sucks right now and I'm not where I want to be. Like, for instance, there was a time when I had to move back home, right? And first of all, like I was going through some real tough times. I was homeless. So I definitely needed somewhere to stay. I needed a, I needed a break, right? But in my mind, I'm like, I'm, yo, something is going wrong right now. Like, why am I back here? So I'm depressed. I'm going through depression moments. And I'm like, bro, this is horrible. This is, I don't want to be like this. I shouldn't be like this. Then I started saying, I shouldn't be like this because apparently I thought I was too of a motivational person to, to be depressed. So sometimes you're like, oh, I'm too inspired. I'm too entrepreneurial to be depressed. That didn't make sense. I'm, like, I, I'm too productive to be like this. What? That's what I was thinking like in my, in, my, in my mind because my perception of it was I should not be in this situation. But in reality was my body was saying, you need rest. Yo, you know, the, when was the last time you slept in a bed? You need a bed. Like you need to rest, you need to rejuvenate. And the time that I moved back was around like September. 
imagine going back home and, you, and then you, they come and take your car. Like I had my car, I was sleeping in my car. I was running my mobile personal training business and I was in college. So I come back home, boom, I, I go up to the front. I'm like, where my whip? My whip gone. I'm like, what? Somebody stole my whip back in the hood? I'm like, yo, I should never. And I'm like, yo, what happened to my car? And then I found out that my whip, what happened to it was simple. They took it back. And when I found that, they, and I had my stuff in it. I had my camera, I had my equipment, I had my training, I had everything. And that was my business. So they captured my stuff and that led me on a route. While I thought I was losing stuff, y'all, I was actually giving, a, I was getting a break. I was getting a break to go through a new journey to to actually to switch up my mentality about life to get new habits and rituals that would change it so at first it was like a hustle mentality and what happens was i grew from a hustle mentality to a spiritual perspective on life so instead of like it was like i need a hustle grind 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 to get there it was like yo i i actually there's some stuff i need to heal there's some stuff i need to learn how to be more peaceful even when this is not there there's some i need to learn how to respond a little bit differently so actually in the moment of those times i actually learned better lessons and they actually helped me become who i am today so i'm sharing that story with you because going through that moment was a shift in my life it was the moment i decided that i wasn't just gonna like be a personal trainer i wanted to say you know i'm actually gonna this is really i'm gonna become a speaker I'm gonna actually focus on mental health. I'm gonna show, focus on holistic wellness. I'm gonna focus on this because I need it myself. So the moment that you go through something, this is when you actually get in touch with a purpose. So sometimes a change happens, involuntary, a challenge causes a change, causes a shift. It causes you to do what? Like I said, to change forms. So I was taking the form of this way of like grind, 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 be an entrepreneur, build the biggest business and run around. And I wasn't taking care of some mental aspects. So when I started to do that, my, ment my experience of life started to shift. So a lot of times it is a challenge that's going to challenge you to do something about your current experiencing of life. And that's a good thing. So we can't run away from challenges. You actually have to embrace them because that's what causes a shift. So transformation on the new moon. So now, if you didn't know, today is a new moon, which means this is an opportunity for you to set intentions for what you want for the next cycle. Now, we're going through many changes and shifts within the world. First of all, we are getting farther and farther away from the sun. As you can see, the mornings, the the mornings are taking longer to come around. It's, it's darker earlier. I mean, so it's darker later now the time is going to change back because you know we have found a way to switch times this daylight saving times happen soon I think tomorrow so basically with this shift happening you have your body is going to be adjusting so this is the perfect time for you to set certain intention on what you don't want to take onto the next cycle now because this moon is in very is in in a water sign What's happening, there's a lot of energies that might be stirred up within you. Now, the water, water is a sign that has to do with the kidneys. What does the kidneys do? The kidneys filtrate toxins out of the body and it keeps what you need. So guess what? Your kidneys are gonna be stirred up. So right now, you don't operate in the spirit of fear. You need to operate in the spirit of discipline and courage and effort, strength. So now, the kidneys and the bladder two things so you ever like if you lately you've been feeling like yo going to the bathroom irregularly like or like you, you feel like a sense of fear about the future the way that you combat uncertainty is with certain plans okay uncertainty is I don't know what's going to happen because I don't necessarily have a plan but when you have like a, a plan even though things are happening out of the way you still have a faith to carry out the plan and because you're carrying out the plan you are not necessarily fearful you're actually learn how to prepare so that's what i was talking about yesterday you learn how to prepare in the fall so that way you can save to reap in the winter so what does that mean so there's a shift happening the kidneys are affected so there are things you can do for your kidneys now, because it's starting to get cold, 
your kidneys might want to get cold. So you want to drink plenty of hot fluids around this time. You want to be drinking your teas. You want to be drinking soups. Right? You're going to be also incorporating spicy stuff to keep the kidney fire. You want to be doing fire breathing exercises. So you can stimulate what is called kidney fire to allow it to store energy for winter. So now here's the thing. The kidneys, what does the kidneys do? And this is the importance of eating healthy. Just like my man's just said, yo, changing to a plant-based diet is one of the most effective things you can do if you don't have, if you're not currently in a plant-based diet. Why is that? You wanna now, your kidneys, you wanna store energy in your kidneys so that way that can carry you throughout entire winter, not just winter, carry you through, through fall. So you want to eat certain foods right now. You want to detoxify your body so that way you can be preparing for winter. So part of transformation is preparation. It's planning ahead. So you got to plan with your health. You got to plan with your finances, right? So planning with your finances, what, what, what does that look like? So right now is also a good time to save. The ants are saving, right? The ants are accumulating and saving. So a lot of people reap in the fall. So if you reap in the fall, if you get in the, the most money you made, the most tips, whatever, you got opportunities, it's time for you to kind of save some of that bread, right? Put some of that money aside, right? So for a rainy day like today, for a rainy day. So you put some money, money rainy day fund. So change and transformation starts with a plan. You're like, yo, I am frustrated with my routine. You want to change up your routine. Change and transformation start a routine, a plan. So if you don't have a rising routine, guess what you're doing? You are scatteredly going through the day. Which means if you don't even have like a, an itinerary for your day, you are letting it go by chance. And you, those days are necessary. A, day, a free fall day when you just have no plans, you just do whatever, be whatever. But those days are necessary but that in itself is a plan. You planned out a day to do nothing. But if you're doing nothing by, no, by osmosis, or I don't even know if that's the right word. If you're doing the right things unconsciously, guess what? If you're just doing that unconsciously, then you're not really building anything. You have to figure out a way. Even if you're not building something, you gotta be building you. So somebody said, you know, I don't have a business plan. What well, do you have the plan for your business called you? So you gotta have a, your business plan mind your business plan i like that mind your business plan so you got to have your business you how to work on yourself like a business you are a business and you're the chief executive officer of it so coming up with a plan on this it's like yo how am i going to improve this month what areas of my life do i want to focus on and work on and get better at what things have been outstanding things i've been trying to do that i haven't been how can I be present in my current relationships? All of those different things or different aspects of it. You gotta come up with a plan to your, for your own development. A plan for you to think bigger. If you've had the same goal this whole year and you have not yet done it, at least do it in the fourth quarter, right? Give yourself that gift of accomplishing it. If you had a goal if you had a new year resolution, resolve it before the year is over, all right? So this is a word about transformation and change. If you have a new year's resolution, resolve it before the year is over. By that I mean, what is it that you wanna do? Where is it that you wanna go? And how is it that you wanna grow? What is it that you wanna do? Where is it that you wanna go? And how is it that you wanna grow? So what? What saying is, this is what I want to do. This is the activities that I want. So you want to dictate a plan of activities. These are the, what I want to do. It's not itinerary, okay? What is it that what I want to do? Where is it that I want to go? Where meaning, what is your target? So you want to have activities and you want to have target. Target meaning goals. You ever seen like a little, what is it called again? Um, you know what I'm talking about. What is your target? You, you gotta land right on the bull's eye. So if you don't have a target, then guess what? You might just be throwing stuff all over, you hitting people all in the nose, you, and you're like, wait, 
I'm not going anywhere. No, you have to you have to hit the tree with the axe at the same spot for you to bring it down. The problem is you if you hit the tree with the axe continuously over and over in different spots, you might not be bringing it down as effectively. But if you hit it at the same spot continuously, surely the, the tree will come down. And the tree I'm talking about is not only the thing that's holding you back, but the tree meaning action on the thing that you need to do to get you there. So there's two ways. Every day you gotta hit the same spot, breaking some negative habits, breaking down the trees of limiting beliefs, breaking down negative thought patterns. I can't do that. You gotta break those down, but you have to hit the tree at the same spot. You can't keep changing spots and then you're like, oh, okay, let me just change spot. And then you thinking you're gonna get progress. So there's a continu so change starts with consistency and continu continuity of that consistency. It has to be a continuous. It has to be a, a a progressive. It is progressive. What what do I mean by that? Let me stop this right quick. There we go. Change has to be a progressive and a continuous action. So the thing is, you can go and get it every day. But if you go and get it and you do jack of all trades, the master of none. So here's the thing. To master a lot, you master one. Then master another one. Then surely you become what they call, then you get what it is called. Once you master mastered a couple of things, your ability to master it has became a master in itself. Once you master two things, meaning a couple of things, your ability to master has become the third. So which means you've now not only mastered what you mastered, but you've learned how to master. And the moment you learn how to master, you can take that mastery to other things. But the thing is, you're trying to master many things, so you never mastered anything. So because you mas never mastered anything, you've never got the result of mastery. And now you don't know what mastery feels like. So the moment you're dedicated to one thing enough, you will be a master of that. And then now you will be like, oh, I am a master. You will now understand your mastering power. You're going to have a different aura about you. So somebody says, yo, what do I start with? Master your body. I found out just learning how to exercise and being able to be strong and mastering fitness and health and wellness that helped me get my confidence level up and that brought me to many things i was like oh i can actually work out then i was like i could show somebody how to work out i wasn't like this help somebody with their mental health help somebody i wasn't there not at all all i was like yo i mastered f working out this is what i did because i what i did it was is not i didn't just master working out i mastered showing up to the track every day the same time before school, in high school, and I went to practice, I practiced with the track team and then practice after track practice. I mastered fitness, not by going to the gym, by showing up for hobbies and things I like to do. Oh, you see, I'm going somewhere with this. I didn't necessarily do gruesome work to become a personal trainer. I did l enjoyable stuff to become a better person i wanted to be a basketball player i wanted to build something i had a vision i had a target so i found activities to match the target so where i wanted to go to where i wanted to go to was the nba but i didn't now i know where i wanted to go to is greatness not necessarily the nba was a representation of greatness right what i wanted to do was play basketball and run track and do all and do all these other sports now, where I want to grow to was to just become the best version of myself. I wanted to see how the best, I wanted to be the best, and I still want to be the best version of me. I wanted to be like Michael Jordan. Shoot, funny fact, I'm born on the same day as Michael Jordan. So when I was in the NBA, when I wanted to be an NBA player, very deep stuff here, when I wanted to be an NBA player, I believed I can be the N Michael Jordan. Then I found out I wasn't going to be 6'5". <laughs> And somewhat, I started running track more. I was like, man, I had a better chance in track. And then life steered me towards doing what I do now, which is a sort of sport. Now, I'm like, I want to be like Les Brown. 
And I found out I had the same birthday as Les Brown. That was pretty deep, right? So that was an amazing switch. That's just like a, a fun fact, right? But anyways, the, the story is this. I was just doing something I was passionate about. I did it long enough. And then along the way, I acquired habits and rituals that changed my life. And then I had a skill set and I took the skill set. I monetized the skill set and I got into something that gave my life more meaning. And that changed my life forever. It was a process. Boom. Deep. Never. I thought about it that way before. So, yo, what is that saying? If you find something you just like doing and you're disciplined in it, you're going to find mastery in it. And that's going to build enough mastery to bring that mastery into in fact, because we live in this new society, you could convert your mastery to a course. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But you got to be outside planting the lemons. Mm, and watering the lemons so you could get it. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but if you don't plant the lemons, you got no lemons to squeeze. You feel me? Snap, snap. Spoken word. Yeah, I know I did spoken word back in high school. So, yo, what I'm saying is this, yo. It's only easy when you do the work. And then it becomes easy. Now you can easily teach it. So now what happened? I'm like, yo, I'm a personal trainer. I'm helping people. And people are like, yo, I can't. Yo, Ed, bro, I have, I, I like, I know I'm, I'm not supposed to eat that food. But I kind of have, like, emotional eating with the food. I need to work on that. I'm like, I don't know nothing about that. I, I can't help. I really didn't know nothing about that. So I, I need to do the seek. So I found people to teach me. So you got to be willing to learn. I found teachers that taught me these things. I didn't just learn about osmosis. Is, am I using that right? <laughs> I didn't just learn it naturally or randomly. I had to read something. I had to attend somebody's class. I had to watch a video. I had to listen to a podcast. I did these things to acquire knowledge. Because you're stuck on the edge when you don't know. No ledge. You're stuck on it. You're like, so when you know, you're going to take the leap. So I needed to learn more. So I learned about the emotions. I learned about the mind. I learned about how it's all interconnected, holistic, herbs, nutrition. And then I learned Qigong. I started to master little and little things. As I mastered one, I, and I focused on one during a specific season. And then I moved to another season. I focused on another one. I focused on another one in one season. And, I focused on, and then I accumulated Habits and rituals, which gave me skill sets along the way. This is how growth and transformation happens. Each one, in each year, I had many epiphanies because each year I had something to get over. I, it, it, get deep, it gets deeper as you grow more. So what does that mean? First, if you even say, I'm going to start working out, this is the number one way you can build mastery is to master your body. The easiest way to start is actually the body because guess what? You can get stuck in your mind, but you go to the gym, just move your body. Hold that weight. See what you're going to think about. You got to push that sucker up. Listen, you're not going to let it fall. Go do some squats. You're going to be grunting. What you going to be thinking about? No. You running. You sweating. What you, you need to focus on the movement. So there's a, there's, a, there's a reason why you start with your physical body because it builds a... It has certain components of resiliency. Everything, sports teach you so much. This is why I, am, I, had, I had a one-up in life by being an athlete, 100%. Somebody want to know, why do I have a one-up in life by being an athlete? I had to learn certain things by being an athlete, showing up, consistency, discipline, working hard, pushing through it when it gets tough, right? Having difficult conversations, right? Coming from the bottom and now we're here. Right. Starting from not being as good to become most improved player, not making the team the first year, working to make the team the second year, killing it like, yo, I became I started from not being the best runner to becoming the MVP. One year became most improved and I improved. It was just like this. And my life has been going in cycles because I just challenged my body and I found out that I had a gift for that. And I challenged my mind. I found out I had a gift. Every time you challenge yourself, you're going to find a gift. The thing is, you're not challenging yourself enough. You're settling too much. And you can't settle enough to grow to where you want to be. You have to say, hey, I'm not going to settle. I'm going to make the best out of it. It's 100%. Sometimes you have to push yourself 
if you're going to transform. You can't just transform and not push yourself. It doesn't come like, it doesn't come easy all of the time. So in this new moon, you also have to look at the shadow parts of you. Now, I express to you the good parts, but there are also, there's a shadow parts of me that along the way that I'm stepping into that I say, I can't go to this level with this shadow. Well, not necessarily I can't go this level with this shadow is that I can't remain in this darkness and be in the light. The shadows are always there. But what I'm saying is I can't stay looking at this dark moment and being scared of it and being shameful of it if I'm going to be in the light. So it's not necessarily not going to the le new level with your shadow. The habits are much different than the shadow. The patterns are much different than the shadows. The shadows are certain things about you that just is it's kind of a it's kind of a duality. It's a dark it's a it's the yin and yang. Now the habits are things that we can say we can change. Right? The shadows are things that sometimes are lasting impressions, are things that we can never really change. It just has been. Those parts we kind of carry. It's a, a different thing we got to have with them. It's different. So we let go of the things we can let go and we accept the things we can only accept and have a, a healthy understanding with that. You get what I'm saying? So in this season, you want to be able to face them. They're going to be, sometimes it's challenge. Sometimes they come up. There's things you notice about yourself and you're like, hey, I maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I could have done that. If I knew better, I would have. Why didn't I? I should have. Look at me, I didn't. <laughs> so all of those things, they weigh heavy, right? And some of those things you really can't change because they already happened. So that's why I mean the shadow. As you see the parts of you that are so loving, you also see the parts of you that are you, you, sh you can be ashamed about. And by all means, you see it and you're like, sometimes those parts you kind of have to just have a relationship where you have deep compassion for yourself for it. And then also a willingness to say, hey, I'm not necessarily going to live in this. I'm going to live in the light. So what do I mean? There are habits that may very, be very detrimental to you, um, yourself, your family, your friends, anybody. And you, you're you not accepting anymore, right? You're like, I'm not accepting that. And like I said, at some point you have to stop accepting certain things from yourself. So the moment you say, you know what, I'm not accepting that anymore. I'm actually going to step in there. But I'm embracing that it was, you know. It is, but I am, and in the spirit of I am, you kind of create your life, all right? Spirit of I am is very, is a creative spirit. That's why you say affirmations. Affirmations is not necessarily to throw daisies over the shit, but it's, it's to grow out of it. It's to grow and become the flower that sprouts out of all the things that you necessarily don't like. And you see that out of it is a lot of, beauty this is how the pain helps you grow right it's nature is a process that teaches you life lessons you just got to learn it by watching nature so the composition of what makes you grow is literally a lot of the things that have happened that has put you in this epidemic or in this specific situation that you're saying hey this is how i choose to be and in choosing to be, you create the person you want to be because now you're consciously creating yourself. You're not subconsciously recreating the past. Consciously creating yourself is saying, I'm going to actually actively do things to be this type of person instead of I'm going to repeat things to claim to be the person that I thought I was. Do things to be this type of person. Like, if you want to be a joyful person, do things that are that's going to encourage joy if you want to be a healthy person do things that's going to encourage health whatever the type of person that you want to be the activities have to match the target the activities have to match the target and the routines and rituals have to carry out the activities that will lead you to the target so shaming and blaming yourself doesn't work but actively creating it does owning up to what you've done that's wrong is 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 good having the conversations that, that, that you don't necessarily want to have is freeing all of those things are part of it this is what it means to embrace it 
but habits and rituals are easily changed. So what you're doing is not a shadow that you need to embrace. What you're, what you're doing is what you're li literally looking at. You need to just stop doing what you're doing and do differently. This is not shadow work to change your habits. It's shadow work to embrace the parts of you that you can't necessarily, per se, have taken away, shun away, throw away. There have been to certain decisions that stick with you. Let's say this. Let's say you had a kid with somebody. You can't take the fact that you had this kid with some, this somebody. You can't take the fact that you had a relationship. It is. You had it. It is so. You have to accept it. Maybe there was a part of you in your past where you did certain things with your body. You don't like it. You shouldn't have. Whatever. I'm not even going to shit all over you. Whatever. You say, I, 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 maybe I couldn't. I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Those are parts of you that it already done. But if you're doing that shit right now, those are habits. It's not your shadow. You literally look in the light. Do something different. Act upon what you know to do. I'm just keeping it real. Because the truth of the matter is we have to understand the, the serenity to, to know the things that you cannot change and the things that you can change. This is the wisdom to know the difference. Once you don't know the difference, you can be delusional. I don't want you to be delusional. Delusional says, hey, listen, you know, I'm just going to affirm my way out of feeling bad about the situation, but I'm going to keep the same habits. That's delusional. You have to affirm your way matched by the proper actions to lead you to the right person. You don't affirm your way to shun away the shit. You affirm your way to plant seeds in the ground to grow out of it. Okay? Which means you affirm your way into action, into doing the work, not running away from it. You don't run away from it with affirmation. That's literally affirming the opposite of what you want. This is actually destructive. I'd recommend you affirm and I'd recommend you act rather than affirm and run away. Because to affirm one thing, to feel good about what you're not doing is not affirmation. That's delusion. Affirmation is to not only believe in what you're saying, but to match it with the proper way of being to make it a reality. To match it with continuous set of thoughts to make it real, to live it in real life, this is affirming. Your whole life is a manifestation. It's not just the words. It's not just a crystal. It's not just a sage. Your, your whole life has to manifest. Energies match. When the energies align, you will manifest matched by the proper action. It's not a manifestation by delusion. It's a manifestation by faith matched by proper actions. This is manifestation. Mm, I'm going in today. So guess what? This is deep because you have to face it. You got to face it. It's a new moon. Challenge yourself. It's a new moon. Challenge yourself. This is where growth happens. You're going to shift when you really see what it is and say, hey, I'm making a determined effort. Now, there's something different between keeping it real with somebody and shaming somebody. When you keep it real with somebody, you're telling you as it is. This is it. When you're shaming as it is, you're, you're saying this is how you should have been. This is what you should have done. This is why you're not good enough. Saying as it is with constructive criticism says this is it. But you can do something about it. Here are a couple of things you can do. <coughs> this is how... One should interact with yourself, with anybody you care about, anybody you love. Some things have to be kept real. And in certain energies, especially today, it is a day to keep that real. It's a day to keep it real with yourself. It's a day to be in tune. It's a day to be courageous, not to live in fear, to say, hey, I'm going to shift. I'm not just going to say one thing and do the other. I'm going to be structured and organized. And I'm going to, every day, I'm going to readjust as much as I possibly can to make it happen. Because I know that my family depends on this. My well-being depends on this. Right? My lineage depends on this. 
I depend on this. So you have to say, hey, I am going to do what is necessary. You have to do what is necessary. What's necessary is necessary. And if it's necessary, do what's necessary. Make it happen, no matter what. Okay? So courage, effort, and strength, y'all. This is a word about transformation and change. This is Ed Talks Daily, keeping it real 100%, five days a week, live on Instagram, YouTube, and you can listen in, you can go back and listen on edtalksdaily.com. Now, this podcast is also available to listen directly on Facebook, Ed Talks Daily. Man, it's on in all your podcast apps, so y'all go listen, go to my website, subscribe to it, show some love. Listen. This podcast is going to be number one in the alternative medicine space in the next three years. I guarantee it. Because I'm not just manifesting with words. I'm manifesting with action. We're going to make it happen. So let's grow. Make sure you go and subscribe to the podcast 100%. Listen, if this has bring value to you, share it to somebody. Right? If this has brought value to you, share it to somebody. And go to edtalksdaily.com forward slash support. If you want to support the podcast, send a donation. Help support Ed Talks Daily. With that being said, y'all, you have the unlimited power in you to transform, change your life, man. I done gave you a whole spiel about it. I said three areas. Where, where do you want to go to? What do you want to do? And who do you want to grow to be? Okay? So have a target. Right, have a plan, and then all, not just a plan for what you're building, but a plan for building yourself. Okay, so that's the gist of today's message. Keep going, keep going. You got this. Be keep it real with yourself. Make the change you need to change, and just don't don't prolong your transformation. Make that happen now. For sure, for sure. Let your light shine, don't hide it, don't dim it. The more your light shine, the more you're able to have a distinction between the shadows, the darkness, and the light. The more you shine your light, the more you're going to have a distinction between the darkness, the shadows, and the light. That's just what it is. But the more you identify with things because you're only seeing one side of it is the less chance you have on getting out of it. So if you look at the dark situation and say, I am the dark situation, you have became consumed by darkness. If you look at your shadow and say, I am the shadow, you've been consumed by your past. If you look at the light and say, I am the light, mm, you'll see all three sides. (laughs) Yo, that's my message. I'm sticking to it. (laughs) Peace. Y'all tap into the Qigong class tomorrow, by the way. I forgot to tell y'all. Go to tryqigong.com. Come to the Qigong class, learn the secrets of the masters, master one, master how to move the chi in your body to heal your body. All right? It's not going to be free anymore, by the way. Actually, tomorrow's the last free class. Try Qigong.com. Tomorrow's the last free class. Only way you're going to be able to join this class is, A, if I have a contract with your corporation, B, if you are in a holistic lifestyle tribe, and see if you are, have a Qigong program that you buy. It's no longer going to be free. Or probably D if you buy a ticket on, on Eventbrite for $11, $11. So y'all go to tryqigong.com, last free class. Go to it. I'm doing the work, man. Come do it with me. <laughs>